Michelle at my everyday wife life and this is a weight loss motivation reset collab hosted by Melody from Transforming Melody and there is like 26 women participating in this collab and I'll put the links down below to all of them and you will need to check check out all the lovely ladies that is um, joining this collab to be motivated because I was motivated this morning. I was not going to do this collab because I am disheveled <laughs> still. Yeah. And I told Melody I wasn't going to um, do this collab, but um, I watched like three videos this morning. I woke up at six o'clock. Did I already say that? I woke up at six o'clock. And uh, yeah, I watched like three videos and I was immediately um, motivated. Um, not everyone's video was posted that early, but there were a few. And I'm like, Plus, I noticed my name was in the list, so I'm like, all right, because I'm like a little kid, and I don't want to be left out, so I'm like, all right, let me do this video. So I got up this morning, and I took a, sh a shower. Um, yeah, I changed my routine this morning. I took a shower, and uh, yeah, I'll get in into, into that in a second, because that is one of my tips, I guess. Um, so, um... We are supposed to be naming three tips. Um, this is the other reason why I don't want to do this video because I'm kind of a mess now. Um, I'm distracted. Um, and that's another one of my tips. And I feel like, uh, you know, I do need to do a reset, obviously. I'm just not quite ready to do that yet. Maybe in about nine days. <laughs> After I get a little something done. Yeah, um, so I didn't want to come on here and give all these pointers and stuff when I am not even doing that, but these are things I'm planning to do, and there are a few things that I already have in place. Um, if you don't know, if you're new to my channel, um, which a lot of you that are in this um, collab, I've, uh, I'm not subscribed to, and I probably will subscribe to now, so, um. I know you're probably not familiar, but I was sick for three weeks, and um, yeah, so that just like threw me off really bad. I was eating bad and totally disorganized and stuff, and um, and now I'm distracted by another task, and we'll talk about that in a second. So, um, so my number one tip is organization. <laughs> See, I'm laughing already, but no. Okay, one of the things I'm very organized about is, um, so I want to say you really need to be organized in order to stay on and stay on track. So one of the things I'm very organized is my refrigerator, my pantry, and my meal planning. And shoot, darn it. Let me see if I can find it, or I will put the link down below, but, um, Anyway, I wanted to show you my meal planner, but whatever. Um, so, um, pretty much my refrigerator stays organized all the time. If it's not organized, then I don't end up eating good. It, you know, don't put too much stuff in your refrigerator. It just, you know, you just don't end up eating good that way. Just buy a small, uh, um, well, sometimes I do two-week shopping, but it manages to fit in there. And my, and it did get disorganized when, um... I was sick, and um, that's why I ended up not eating very well and stuff. Um, of course, we were eating out a lot, too. But, um, which, you know, if your refrigerator is messed up, you tend to end up eating out more and all that kind of stuff. And my pantry is, I would say my pantry has been organized for a very long time. It was organized at the last house that I was, uh, that we were in. It would just always stay organized. That was one of the things that... For me, always stays organized. Um, my office doesn't always stay organized. But that's a whole nother thing. And then meal planning. I started meal planning sometime last year, and it really has helped helped a lot. It helps stay on track. And I have a, a printable that I downloaded from Green Child Magazine, and I can't seem to find it right now. Well, let's see. Well, maybe I can. No. No. Anyway, it, this is something that I that I um, downloaded from Green Child Magazine. Um, yeah, totally unprepared here. 
So, but I will put the link down below where you can um, print out um, a meal planner for free. And it's a nice little meal planner. Um, it either goes Monday to Sunday or Sunday to Saturday. So they have two options for you. So I'll put the link down below for that. So number two is um, change. Um, make a change. I made a change today. I made a change in my routine. And it's really motivating me. Um, it was kind of funny too. I mean, I was so motivated this morning when I woke up and watched the um, videos that I got up and got dressed, or actually I got up, sorry, I got up and I took a shower. I never take a shower first thing in the morning, but you know what? I mean, whenever I take a shower, it's not always first thing in the morning. That rejuvenates me and it gets the blood flowing and uh, yeah, it just starts your day better. Um, and so I took a shower before my husband take a shower. I usually take it after or later on in the day when he's left for work. I make his breakfast and everything like that so I was in there after I took a shower getting dressed and ready he's like are you going somewhere <laughs> and I started laughing because it was funny because it was totally out of my routine I never take a shower before he does and um because I don't want to tie up the shower if he wants to get in there so he can get to work but I managed to get in there before he did and I feel so much better and then you know I was getting dressed I put on my workout clothes he's like are you going to the gym? I'm like, no, I'm just getting ready for the day, putting my workout clothes on and I'm ready for the day to clean the house, get done, get ready, whatever I'm doing. So maybe you need to make a change in your routine. And so I did, but you know, you can make other changes. You can make changes in what you're eating. There's a lot of things that just aren't working for me. So I'm thinking about doing low carb. Um, uh, for me, change is good. I thrive. I thrive on change. I tend to um, get complacent when I do the same thing all the time. I need to change it up. I just get bored with it, so I need to change it up. I I wouldn't suggest that you change from system to system. Like you know, go from Weight Watchers and then do Herbalife and then do this and then do that. That's not good. You can make little changes within your um, system that you're doing. I'm doing clean eating. So, um, I'm going to make some changes and do low carb, still clean eating, but I'm going to do low carb within my clean eating, um, routine. So, um, the other thing I'm going to change is I'm, um, that you can do is, uh, well, that I'm going to do like this Friday, I'm going to get my hair cut. So that, that is, motivates me when I make cha little changes like that and makes me feel good. I feel motivated. I feel refreshed. So I'm going to, my hair is, this is why it's up because it is totally a mess and it's driving me crazy, but I couldn't get an appointment until Friday. So I'm going to get my hair done and a petty. <laughs> Treat yourself, take care of you. And, um, so you feel refreshed, make change, make change. Um, again, I thrive on change. So number three is distractions. So I try to get rid of any distractions, distractions, um, just throw you off course and there's hmm, one little one big huge distraction that I'm having right now that is preventing me from staying on track it's something called taxes <laughs> Kate you didn't know this happens every year I plan on getting it all organized and this year comes around and I just have a lot of paperwork it's not just a simple um fill out the form. I have don't have my uh, finances in order. I mean, not really finances. I don't know. I need to, I have a small business, so I need to add up the each month's tally and anyway, whatever. So I need to do that. And it's, so it's going to take me more than one day to do that, but I'm working on it. And, um, the other distractions for me is, um, uh, food. So, <laughs> That sounded funny. So pretty much what I want to say is the distractions are the types of food. So if that is a distraction, I don't buy it. If if I feel I'm going to binge on it, I'm not going to eat it. Because recently I bought some crackers that um, were gluten-free. In case you didn't know, I'm gluten-free. Um, that Melody recommend. And they, they are really good. But I ended up eating way too many. So that's a... For me, that's a distraction, so I'm not going to buy that again. I, you know, 
I'm not going to have it in the house. If it's in the house, it's a distraction for me. I will eat it. If it's in the house, I will eat it. So I know I'm not going to buy that anymore. So uh, that, you know, so if there's any other tasks that you need to get done, I would suggest that are distracting you from, um, cause I know for me, things like, um, my doctor's appointment, I know this sounds really crazy, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm weird. Okay. I'm just <laughs> weird. Uh, a little tiny bit of OCD problems, but, um, so things like a doctor's appointment or distraction for me, um, if I, I make a doctor's appointment for like four o'clock in the afternoon, I seem to be distracted all day and I don't, I'm not in my routine and I'm not eating good. I, I'm like, oh, I gotta just forget it. I just gotta wait till I go to the doctor and get that done and then I'll stay on track. Yeah, so make your doctor's appointment at eight o'clock in the morning so you can get your task out of the way and finish your day and stay on track and and whatever. I know these things are kind of weird because I'm weird. Yes. But these are the things that work for me. I don't know if they work for you or everybody's different. So, um, all right, that's enough about that. So the other thing we're supposed to share is a recipe, a go-to recipe. So one of my go-to recipes is orange chipotle chicken. And I got this recipe from clean eating magazine and it is super yummy. It, it is it's super yummy and it's really low calorie. It's just chicken and some chipotles and um, I'll put the link down. I'll put the recipe down below. No, I actually, I did a video on that. So I'll put a link to that video uh, on how to make that and a link to the um, Clean Eating Magazine where I got that recipe. I'll do that too. So yeah. And so I, I was going to show you, I guess I wanted to show you my pantry and my refrigerator before I ended this video. And then I'm going to insert a picture at, at the end of, I don't know, I guess I'll insert a picture at the end. I don't know if I have a picture of from the beginning, but in the beginning, the, at my heaviest, I was 271 pounds. And now I am 244. Yeah, I had a little weight gain if you follow me on transformation um Thursdays so that what is that I don't do the math on that that is 27 pounds yeah so I've lost 27 pounds so far and my heaviest was which sometime last last year I've actually lost well only around seven this year I it was 10 but I gained three back Anyway, so sometime last year I was 271, so I'm um, happy with that. And uh, if I can find a old picture of me, I'll put I'll put that in. But if not, I'll just do a current picture. And um, I, let me just show you real quick my refrigerator and um, my pantry. Okay, I just wanted to show you real quick how organize my pantry and it pretty much stays like this i organized this a long time ago and i'm not going to show you everything because i want to do a video on that and go through everything but it is pretty organized so i know where everything exactly is and i'm not confused <laughs> and so i can just grab and um grab and stuff to make dinner and not be uh confused about <laughs> everything so let me show you my refrigerator Okay, and this is my refrigerator, and it pretty much stays organized, but recently I was um, redoing it, and I bought these these mats from um, the Dollar Tree, so I'm still doing that, but this is like my salad um, thing, uh, salad container, so I take this out every morning and make my husband a salad, so I could just take this whole thing out, and set it on the counter, make a salad for him for... Um, uh, his lunches and I have all my fruit and vegetables and mason jars because it lasts longer and I didn't this is my vegetable drawer and I didn't do prep on this I don't always do everything but um so this is where I keep all my vegetables and I am an out of sight out of mind person so I like to have everything in view so that's this is not really supposed to be the vegetable drawer I think it's intended to be like the meat drawer or something but I like to see it because veggies are important so everything is all organized. This is kind of stuff, but it is organized. And I have um, my water and milk in here. And 
yeah and then this is just extra solid stuff and this I clean it out every time before I go to the grocery store I clean out my refrigerator so that it's all nice and organized and I could just put everything back in and um, yeah so that's my fridge now it's for the rest of the kitchen yeah it's a little messy I won't show you that so yeah let me um that's it guys I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm gonna insert a picture of myself at the end of this video and enjoy